Hi folks, welcome back to the Cincinnati Razorback Room in beautiful Northwest Arkansas. Just got finished watching the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, or could we call it the Mike Trout Show for two years in a row. What a ball game that was. Watched a tremendous home run derby the day before. Anyway, I digress. Today's episode on Spinner Baseball is going to deal with where do balls go in the outfield, speaking of Mike Trout. How do we determine where a ball goes in the outfield? Pretty simple, pretty plain, and it'll be cut and dry. We'll show you how to do that real simple, real easy on this episode of Spinner Baseball. So what kind of balls go to the outfield? Well, there will be fly balls, of course, numbers four and eight on the batting key, and then F with the pitcher. They will go to the outfield, as well as singles and doubles. So let's start out by putting a pitcher in the uh, spinner, and let's see what happens. So I put Tony Cloninger in the spinner. I used to really like Tony Cloninger. Give him a quick spin of the spinner finger there, and it lands on the F. F is a fly ball that goes pretty much anywhere in the outfield with nobody on base or with runners on base. This is a caught fly ball. So this fly ball right here, thrown by Tony Cloninger, is going to go to any of these players right here that you see highlighted. It'll go to left, center, or right, and then we'll spin the outfield disc to determine which fielder makes the play. And as you see, the spin lands on the left fielder, so this ball will be fielded by Barry Bonds. Whether it's a fly ball, a single, or a double, Barry Bonds gets to make this play. Let's uh, put the pitcher back in here and spin him once again. Let's spin Tony again. Let's see where this lands. This time it lands on the B. That means I get to put a batter in there and spin my batter. I just happen to have an old Kevin Seitzer card right here. Let's put him in and spin and see what happens here. Give him a quick flick of the spinner finger. and Look at there. It lands on an 8. 8 is a fly ball anywhere. goes to any of these outfielders that you see highlighted. So now I need to put the outfield card in. Give it a quick spin, see where it lands. It lands on the right fielder. That means that this ball is going to be fielded by the right fielder. And in this case, it's going to be a catch up against the wall by the one of the greatest right fielders of all time, Roberto Clemente. Let's uh, put the batter back in the batter's box. Spin him again. Let's see what kind of result we get this time. And we get a four. That means it's a pulled fly ball. That's going to go to the center fielder or the right fielder. And so now I need to put the outfield card back in so that I can determine which one of these two fielders is going to do it. I spin my outfield card, and I kind of have a dilemma. It lands on the right fielder. When the, ball, when the spin lands on the right fielder, but it's a pulled ball by a right-handed batter, I've got to get the ball to the left fielder. Had it landed on the center fielder, then the center fielder would have taken it. But since this time it landed on the right fielder, it's going to be fielded by the left fielder because that's the opposing corner outfielder. And in this case, you get to see Barry Bonds running that ball down, making the play. Once again, let's go back to that pulled fly ball, spin the spinner, and this time it lands up on the center field. Well, any time that an outfield spin lands on the center field, it's going to be fielded by the center fielder. Even if it's oppo or pulled or whatever, it's going to be, land, it's going to be fielded by the center fielder. And in this case, what a center fielder it is. Look at this, a diving play by the most valuable player of the All-Star Game two years in a row, Mike Trout. And there we have it. It's that simple. Simply put the outfield card in, determine where the ball goes, let that fielder make a play. We'll get into fielding ratings a little bit later on. Today, I appreciate you stopping by on this episode of Mechanical Baseball Spinner Baseball. I'm your host, Dennis, and I'm going to leave you with one of my favorite outfielders of all time. That's in the right field. That's a can of corn. Bo Jackson is there. As here's a throw, Gallego tagging it. Bo gets it. What a throw. By you just get used to that and you start pacing yourself. That's high. He just may have missed it. I don't know. Bo Jackson back, leaps, and he makes the catch. Bo Jackson timing that high drive by Jack Clark perfectly. Robs him of a home run and then a retire. Borsalak licks that one to left center field. Bo won the charge. Bo is there. 
that wall. Bo knows exactly what he's doing. Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, I love it. They show it on the big screen. Listen to the crowd. 